I got into fiber art very recently, or so I thought, because in fact, that is the name of various types of artwork I've done throughout my life. Most recently, I created the artwork that is right next to me. It is a tri-dimensional, multimedia, embroidered design. What kicked it off first was my having discovered two very nice branches, which I liked, with silk leaves in it, which I sewed onto the foundation of this piece. And then I proceeded to sew, stitch by stitch, row by row, a design which I had not preconceived at all. And that seems to be fairly typical of my artwork in general. I do not pre-plan a lot of my work. I started with the green grass, moved on to the bushes, to the lake, to the mountains, decided the lake was going to gush out of the mountains, and ultimately to the rays of sun in orange, yellow, and gold. And then I had to decide how I was going to frame it. I went to Michael's art supply store and decided I was going to put it in a shadow box. And I thought I would make it pop by having orange walls. And the result is what is before you right now. Yes, as it turns out, what became work under the name of fiber art include quite a variety of crocheted hats from berets to soft hats that just cover the head to larger sweeping hats. And many of them have all kinds of details. Again, each of these hats was done individually with an individual direction, which I knew not until I had completed the hat. Splunky is the name of a puppet. Years ago, I was writing some mythological narratives and described a character who wound up having the name of Splunky. He had three eyes as big as plums and a hand with 13 thumbs, a tall, crooked horn capable, capable of decoding four-inch speech and scripts, 23 toes, well, eventually, he took a form. And at first, it was in the form of a cartoon. And I wound up writing a series, a sci-fi adventure series about Splunky in outer space. And it's called The Cosmic Adventures of Splunkunio Splunky in Outer Space. And after that, I decided that Splunky needed a different form. I was doing lots of programming, and I started to work with puppets. Well, Splunky took three different forms. The first Splunky, I crocheted by hand. He's six feet tall, and he took about 60 hours to create. It was really done through my imagination, transferred into my hands to produce the result that you will see. And from the crocheted version, I moved into another six foot puppet, which was sewed by hand. This one probably took closer to 100 hours. And I'm not one who likes to read directions, I just move forward. So, I, however, I did ask one person who makes puppets how to do certain things, such as have a movable mouth, which the second Splunky has. Also, the arms and the legs are all very mobile. As a matter of fact, even the first Splunky, as well as the second, I could dance with. Then, as I was moving on and doing all kinds of different programs in different areas, 
I decided there was a new series that I wanted to start. And that became known as Splunkunio Splunky, Detective and Peacemaker. I decided the characters were going to be puppets. And I wanted a really, uh, well, somebody who is really an expert, more so than I, I was, since these were the two that I had created, without direction. I wanted somebody to do a better job than myself. And Splunky number three was born. And you can see pictures of him as well. He became the hero along with two other delightful puppets, Ellie and Eli, who are elephants. And in a second book, which is coming out, I hope soon, uh, called Big Bully Holly Howler, we have another puppet colleague. It is fiber art that made my puppets real. They take on lifelike forms. It's as if they can move through space all on their own. They can convey messages all on their own, whether it's through talking, singing, through dance, whatever the message is at the moment. It is through the fiber art that Splunky and the whole crew of characters come to life for the audience. All the artwork I have been doing over the past two and a half years actually have been in my home. And I have paintings over all the walls. And I have made our dining room actually into an art studio. It became an art gallery, then it moved to become an art studio alone. As early as in my 20s, I started using fiber art. Whether it was making some of my own puppets, which are very different from the form that Splunky takes, but using all kinds of materials. One looks rather Egyptian. There, there are so many different types. And uh, the fiber brought me to life as well. <laughs> I hope that my work becomes a source of inspiration for all of you out there to create your own work. It's a very exciting process. For me, I never knew what was going to be the resulting amazing piece of art.